my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus today the liturgy is inviting us to live in the spirit of god jesus is inviting us because he is the holy spirit he wanted us to live in the holy spirit because the spirit that gives life for us in today's gospel john gospel chapter 6 verses 63 speaks like this it is the spirit that gives life but the flesh is not the word i have spoken to you are spirit and life the whatever that the word that comes from jesus it gives spirit and life because the spirit always gives life into our life my dear people if the spirit of Je- the spirit of jesus it gives life in us that means we need to live in his life we need to live in his spirit that spirit alone can give life and peace in our day to day life that's what jesus is telling we read in the letter to the letter to second letter letter to corinthian chapter 3 verses 6 speaks like this the spirit gives life in us my dear people when we say that spirit is giving life in us we need to realize these things in our life that's what we read the same thing in the letter to roman chapter 8 verses 8 to 9 speaks like this those who are in flesh cannot please god but you are not in the flesh on the contrary you are in the spirit if only the spirit of god dwells in you whoever does not have the spirit of christ does not belong to him my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus if we are not to belong to the spirit we are not to belong to christ we need to live the life in the spirit that means we need to live in jesus the living in jesus it is something great because we need we need we need to have the exemplary life in in the presence of jesus that life can alone we can be called as we are always living in the spirit that's what we read in the first reading today that's the of the apostles chapter 9 verses 31 speaks like this the early christian church throughout all judea and galilee and samaria all the people were live and lived in peace because they built up and walked in the fear of the lord all the people they were being built up and walked in the fear of the lord and with the consolation of the holy spirit it it grows in number the all the christians early christian people were grow grow in great number because they lived in the fear of the lord they lived in the spirit that spirit really led them into the way of life that kind of spirit always gives the fullness of joy in our life my dear people in the the same reading the first reading peter meets two people he is also giving life to them the two miracles that peter performs today peter heals the anias in lida in the place called lida he met a person anias he, he was the person he was confined to bed for a lost 8 years as far he was a paralyzed this paralyzed man he was healed healed by the peter because peter said in the name of jesus i tell you jesus heals you the very word that comes from the mouth of peter it gave life because it is not the word of peter it's the words of jesus the, the because jesus said what well, i have spoken to you are spirit and life that word gives life to the man is anias my dear people the second miracle that we read today peter restores tabitha to life at shopa the place called jopa there was a woman a widowed woman 
she lived a life in holiness because she was completely occupied with the good deeds and words and alms giving she was always surrendered her life in the presence of god because she was totally filled with the spirit and did so many good things and her, her own deeds good deeds and the alms giving and the charitable work and very kindness to others all these things really gave her life because she died and kept somewhere else her body peter comes in peter is once again says tabitha raise in the name of christ when peter said this word tabitha got back her life my dear people the widowed woman she got a life because she lived in the life of jesus in the presence of jesus in the spirit of jesus that's what she got back her life we need to have this kind of life when tabitha let her life in uh, good deeds and alms giving why not we if we are also ready to live this kind of life in this world sure that we will also have the spirit in our life we will also will be given the life in our uh, future let's pray in this uh, in in today's along with this readings let's pray to god the god will sure that he will give us his own spirit he will give us he will he will strengthen us with his own spirit and sure that we will lead our life in fruitful way that's what we read in letter to romans chapter 8 verse 6 the concern of the flesh is death but the concern of spirit is life and peace always the concern of the spirit is always it gives life and peace my dear people have the concern with the holy spirit we need to have the concern with the holy spirit we need to live in the life of the spirit we need to attach with jesus we need to put on christ we need to have a fruitful living in the spirit of jesus then only sure that we will also lead our life in happiness and joy let's pray the god will give us the same spirit within us to lead our life fruitfully amen